At this point in Takashi 6 ix music career, many say he's lost and will never recover that part of his life, as it's now been 11 months since the release of his newest song, Jene, and with Takashi 6 ix now becoming a massive target in the real world, as he was just caught lacking at a local LA fitness, many believe his time in the music industry is now over. As at 9.03pm on March 21st, news outlets were quick to report that Takashi 6 ix was caught lacking at a local LA fitness as a group of men walked into the LA fitness and caught him in the sauna. Now during his time in South Florida, it was reported that 6 9 was working out at a LA fitness down the street from his rental home for the last couple weeks. 6 9s attorney Lance Lazaro told TMZ the rapper was inside of the sauna on Tuesday at LA fitness when all of a sudden he was approached by several men without any warning. Lance says Takashi 6 9 then tried tried to defend himself from the men, but there was too many of them, giving his client 6 9 the business inside of the bathroom. They didn't even allow himself a fair one-on-one. -on -one. 6 9 also didn't have any security with him at the time of the incident, but gym staff heard the commotion and immediately notified a manager that was close by. Police and EMS were then quickly called to the scene of the crime, and he was transported to a local hospital by an ambulance. Before the incident went down, new footage revealed the man sitting in front of the LA Fitness windows, waiting and watching for his friend to arrive in the parking lot before heading over to the front door. He then allows his buddy inside of the LA Fitness, and usually at a part like this, you would need a gym membership to actually go further beyond the desk, but the member at the LA Fitness told the manager there that his friend just needed to use the washroom, so they allowed it considering it was 9 p.m. Now, ever since this incident, we've heard nothing from Takashi 6 9 Thousands of people are beginning to get worried, including his best friend DJ Academics. As Academics was streaming on YouTube with the title, 6 9 is still missing. No one can get a hold of him, leaving many to believe that New York rapper may just now call it quits. As if you know Takashi, he leads on a very tough and rough image, stating that he doesn't need security. He's fine by himself in the streets, and doesn't need help even though he snitched on one of the biggest street teams in New York City. Now 6 9 being caught lacking has got a lot of attention from rappers in the industry. As Boosie shared on Twitter, snitches get stitches, let's go start a GoFundMe for this guy. Trying to reward this man who caught 6 9 lacking a surprise GoFundMe bag. To even Chief Keef tweeting laughing emojis, it wouldn't be long until millions across the world started asking the question, where is Takashi 6 9 even been for the last year. After lots of digging, I've actually gotten the answer for you. Now, around the time of 6 9s last song, Gen A, around 11 months ago, rapper 42 Doug called out 6 9 leading him to be arrested by the feds. He wanted an answer on why 6 9 did it, as the famous rap lawyer posted this on Instagram. Did the back and forth between 42 Doug and Takashi 6 9 cause the feds to escalate their pursuit of 42 Doug? I would actually say absolutely yes. Let me explain this to you. March 12th is when 42 Doug was supposed to report to the federal prison. It wasn't until April 29th that the feds actually went out and started looking for him. What happened on April 26th and April 27th? The Doug and Takashi 6 9 internet exchange about starting a boxing. Leave a like on the video if you think 6 9s a snitch. I'm curious how many of you do. Now this entire situation between 42 Doug and 6 9 was when 42 Doug reacted to 6 9 pulling up on Perkyo, otherwise known as Lil Durk's twin, on the street. As 42 Doug says, I hate when people do stuff to good people, rat people involving white boys and street stuff. People be lames and could have pulled up on so many other people, but they decided to go up on a kid with nothing to do with nothing. Y'all can never expect non-street people to understand the streets. These people running up trying to ruin his life knowing a real man would deal with you. Now 6 9 responded to him on Instagram live where 6 9 said and I quote, I would smack the fire out of you 4-2 Doug. Let's get in the hotel room. Just me and you. Let's see what happens. I could show proof I don't have security. With them beefing back and forth, this obviously would go viral online, helping Takashi 6 9s new single Jene go 
viral. And this also leads to why 42 Doug is still in jail till this day, as the 42 Doug vs 69 beef resulted in his arrest. As Takashi 69 is still technically a federal informant from his time snitching on his old street team 9 Trey. So whenever 69 gets in any beef online, the feds are quick to look it over. This is what triggered the 42 Doug manhunt resulting in his arrest a few months ago, as news outlets reported that 42 Doug failed to surrender himself into jail. A manhunt was then created by special forces police team to find the Detroit rapper. As the rapper was supposed to serve a six month prison sentence, but he never showed up to court. Sadly now, 42 Doug could now be looking at five years inside a federal prison. Now with 42 Doug getting arrested, this then led into 600 Breezy speaking up on his Instagram live. Now three months after the release of Gen A, 6ix9ine was all over Instagram with 600 Breezy, as during 6ix9ine's IG live, he dissed all rappers that passed in Chicago. This led to Breezy hopping on his IG live to tell 6ix9ine repeatedly that he would be dealt with in the streets and it's on site whenever he sees him. Now a few months went by, 600 Breezy went very silent on social media until he randomly popped out one day on Instagram Live sharing this. Iowa Department of Corrections, right? When they say violation, February 22nd, 21, right? What the they do that say, bro? It say I can sick 6 9 right? You feel me? You see they try how much time they try to give me, right? You gonna go to jail. I just went to jail for saying something. Come on, bro. This real, like, come on. I can't make this up. I can't print. Now, 600 Breezy's camera didn't focus well on the paperwork, but it states, posted video saying that he was going to go after rapper 6ix9ine and had a firearm posted on his social medias with an extended. With 600 Breezy speaking badly about 6ix9ine, he actually ended up getting arrested for a few months, as this would then later result in the last rapper to beef with 6ix9ine until today. This would be the new king of New York, Fabio Foreign. As Fabio Fabio reacted to 6ix9ine's disses in his new song Gen A, but it all started on March 8th when Takashi 6ix9ine posted to his Instagram, when I left and took a break, I didn't say a word to no one. I did not need to explain nothing. I just did it. I woke up and now I want to take over again. So get out of my way. The King of New York is back. Following that Instagram story, he then posted a snippet of his new song, Gen A, before its release. He also added a caption to it stating, I hope everyone enjoyed their 15 minutes. The boy is back, April 15th. I'm the beast they couldn't contain. April 15th, the king in New York is coming back. I'm coming home. Don't get caught on replay. With the snippet getting many reactions from rappers all around the world, but it also got the attention of street members that 6ix9ine snitched on. As a day after he posted, posted his snippet video, the exact same spot that he recorded the video in was vandalized. As reported by DJ Academics, this was posted. They vandalized the place that 6ix9ine recorded a video at. They wrote rat all over it. As 6ix9ine commented on the post, what did the building do to them? Sliding with graffiti cans? Got it. Now all of this got the attention of Fabio Foreign. With him now allegedly becoming one of the largest rappers in New York City, he posted his reaction to Twitter. Five billboards in Times Square. Top five song in New York on Apple at once. Articles in both Daily News and New York Times. Don't ever let that man say he's the king of this city. This is where 6ix9ine replied to Fabio, didn't his best friend get hit in his head a month ago and he's worried about billboards in Times Square? Now it didn't end here with Fabio. As the first week numbers for his album Bible was released, Fabio was on pace to sell 29,000 units first week where 6ix9ine would then reply saying, this is y'all's king, not blackballed, all those features and the whole industry promoted that. And now you, Kanye and Nicki's sidekick even tried to help you promote it more. With Gen A only being released now for four hours at that current moment, 6ix9ine would screenshot his numbers and post it alongside three other New York rappers. With what was supposed to look like a supportive photo, it had a lot more meaning than you might think. As 6ix9ine writes, shout out to everyone doing their thing. King of New York is back. 
Fabio Foran would finally react to the new 6ix9ine diss as well, with Fabio replying, and this is why I don't respond to these lame clout chasers. You can buy YouTube views, but you cannot buy chart positions. Everything this kid has ever said has been a lie, and everything else is also gonna be a lie. I apologize to the real ones that's there mad at me that I'm entertaining this stuff, but the fans must know. They must know what's really going on in New York. Now you may be wondering with all of these disses that 6ix9ine was facing that I just shared, why has nobody took their chance at him? Well, other than this LA fitness incident, right before 6ix9ine disappeared for the last 11 months, this clip of Takashi 6ix9ine was released. Now, right after this video went around online, this photo with Takashi 6ix9ine was also released. As in this photo, you see 6ix9ine getting a cast placed onto his arm. Allegedly, these were rival street members that noticed Takashi was outside with no security. They then took their chance.